<laughs> Yay! Oh, we look made at that it. face. That's a good face. Nice. The order is also <laughs> oh, correct. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks for coming out, guys. Just for everyone who doesn't know, uh, I'm Yoshi UMR. And I'm Lord Martha. And this is the pilot episode of Spill the Ink, which is basically a interview uh, podcast, so to speak. So, uh, on Twitter, we were asking everyone for um, asking us questions that we are going to ask Dude and Milana. So, or really, um, you are asking yes, them the questions. Yes, so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. So, okay. first question. We just start, right? Or do you have any questions? Let's just get right into nope. it. Yeah, or introduce okay. yourself. Yeah, let's, oh, yeah I, maybe I we can start with that. Myself. Who are you? Uh, I'm I'm Milana. I do a lot of streaming on Twitch for for Splatoon Two. I don't make very much YouTube content. Uh, that's more of dudes area. But I stream a lot and I like playing with viewers. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a good time. Who are you? And, uh, <laughs> who am I? Uh, hey guys, I'm the SLB2 dude. I just raided you guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, probably, if, you, if you don't know who I am, uh, I make a lot of content on YouTube for Splatoon and Split up till Splatoon 3. It's going to be pretty cool. And um, I stream a lot on Twitch from a, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, my kind of low. Okay. No worries. I can turn that up. Can turn all right. Up. I can turn myself up as a little bit too. If you okay. You well, I have you all right. in like 80%, so I, there's just a room. Okay, okay, okay. So. If not, right. I'll just eat the mic. We're good now. Perfect. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, okay, so we start with the first question. You will also see it on stream. And you will also see who asked that question. And of course, today we'll be interviewing the cat. If you if you haven't noticed, so yeah. <laughs> we're just you're all interviewing the cat. <laughs> Alrighties, let's go. First question. Um, first Should question I ask is the from. First question. <laughs> you can if you want. Go ahead. Okay. Um, okay. So the first question is by Felix. Uh, Felix underscore Splatoon. <laughs> So the first question is, what are your worst weapons or weapons that you just hate to play and also hate to play against? Uh, so I, who want to go first? I guess I can go first. <laughs> um, I guess my worst weapons would probably be the Explosher and the Tentabrella. Uh, they're just really, really slow and really, really difficult, <laughs> especially for someone who just holds forward. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are probably my least two favorite weapons to play. Um, my least favorite weapon to play against is probably... You know, I really hate fighting against any kind of slosher. Sloshing machines, tri-sloshers, regular sloshers. For some reason, they're just... I don't know, I just can't hit them. I can't explain it, but that's... that's yeah. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Uh, I forgot to me. Uh... I guess, like, depending on what weapon it is, uh, I don't, I mean, I don't like, I, I don't like saying I don't like playing against certain weapons, because it's like, I have a feeling where if I'm using a certain weapon, then I kind of expect that certain weapons are also going to be better than, it, like, mm -hmm. the matchup's just not going to be as good, so, like, if I'm, like, using 96, uh, I know Nautilus will destroy me, so it's just... You know, it's just kind of a thing that's going to happen if I'm using, like, a, uh, maybe something like Charger. It's going to be, like, Tentabrella that sucks to play against if you're using Charger. Or even mm -hmm. L3, it sucks to play against a Tentabrella or anything like that. But um, I guess, is it weapons that I, I'm, like, worse with? But is there, like, yeah, a like weapon what? that you yeah. genuinely dislike for whatever reason? <laughs> Dapples. <laughs> and why? It's, it's just so bad. Apples or play against apples, or you just hate it because it's bad. It, it's just it, okay. So it's just like playing this weapon. Like there's not like okay. It, it's kind of it's pretty alright, but like it's just uh. I have this thing in my mind where it's just like, there are so many other weapons, that do its job better. Like if I want something with beacons, I have bullpoint. If there's something that I want splashdown with, 
I have 96 slushing machine and whatever weapon. If I, if there's a weapon that can paint really well, then I have junior end zap. <laughs> List goes on, honestly. You're Sploosh um, 7, don't forget. The Sploosh 7. <laughs> Even the Sploosh 7, yeah. The Neo Sploosh. Depple's fans are going to be furious now. <laughs> if I want a close range weapon that is like, like, that's even more consistent, the Sploosh is right there, too. Like, it's just, there's just so many weapons that just do its job better, you know? So, yeah. All right, fair enough. So, uh, we can hop on to the next question if you want. Um, don't worry, there will be Splatoon 3 related questions, obviously. So, second question. Um, this has been asked by... It's Ahmed, shout out to Ahmed by the way, who's also a very nice person and also a streamer himself. Um, outside of stream and work stuff, what do you like to do in your downtime? <laughs> Very good question. You can go first, dude. <laughs> uh, my downtime. I guess if I'm not like streaming or editing uh, or playing Splatoon, uh, it's the things that I normally do, I play more video games, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Fair I, point. I, I play like... Play uh, Fortnite. I, I play a lot of Fortnite. Uh, I play Apex. Apex Legends. I play Among Tetris 99. Us. Among do you still us. play Crunker? Yeah. Still crank, like still every now and then. Still, still, play that game and still crank. I forgot in. about that game. Okay. So you're a true gamer. What true a gamer! gamer yes. Do you play Sonic games? <laughs> I wish I had a Sonic game to play. It's just oh. the last ones I played were like a uh, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure, and Sonic Adventure Two. Those were fun. Uh, yeah. I those Actually, there was someone in the questions on yes. the tweet that said. Uh, that knew you from your Sonic content. Yes. And they say, ah, yeah. I, I hadn't heard about Dude in ages. He still <laughs> exists. <laughs> yeah. I, I was surprised at that. Like, I'm someone... so happy he's moved on. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised that people actually remember me from my. Like, what has I, become of I, you? <laughs> like I used to do, like have this. I had like a, like a 58, video series of like Sonic World, uh, what's it called, like levels and like i did like all kinds of let's plays on them and it was actually pretty successful to some point but yeah that was fun i can't believe someone recognized me like that <laughs> that's good what about you milana <laughs> um I, honestly i'm probably gonna be like it's it's the same as dude i, I <laughs> if i'm not streaming and if i'm not doing work stuff i'm playing more video games <laughs> or playing Fair with enough, the cats. gamers <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I can't really go outside very, like, reasonably, so I guess I'll just... I just play Genshin Impact on my free time. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. We can move on. We have a bunch of questions, so... Yeah, Let's go. okay. Should yeah, I Martha can go one? with that. Yeah. Okay, so the next one, the next question is by Sweekly. Um, shout out to Sweekly as well. Uh, she says, uh, do you think Brellas and Julies will come back and would you like to see them come back or not? And then she adds, I know I don't want Ten to return. <laughs> um, I, I think I would like to see all of the weapons come back. I don't know. I Even the weapons that I don't like to play or don't like to see, I just, I think it adds something else to the game. So for me, I hope that Brellas and Julies return just because... I think it adds more variety to the game. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think it's safe for me too. Like, I think they're probably gonna come back at some way, uh, because it's just like I think the devs kind of understand that there are people who are probably playing this game that only play one weapon, and if it's like, oh. We're gonna take away your favorite weapon. Haha, <laughs> no more duel for you. It's just like, well, no, okay. No more police. <laughs> It'll be just kind of sad for them. So it's just like, yeah. You know, I feel like if they have to, they might like change how they feel in some way. But you know, it's mm -hmm. uh, it's probably they're probably gonna make a return. Yeah, just like in Splatoon 2, basically, they're gonna yeah. at some point um, make every weapon return. Maybe add a new duel umbrella. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Then, next up. Okay. 
This one's from Wumi Gabe, fellow Australian. Well, not fellow. I'm not from Australia, <laughs> <laughs> but that would that would be cool. Um, do you think we'll see the staggered content release again on launch, where we had to wait over a year to get all the first game's weapon variants in Splatoon 2? Would you rather most of two's weapons be available at launch? Well, why not go first? <laughs> Wait, uh, uh oh, I sorry. Can first. <laughs> Do you think you'll, wait, sorry, I, I was just typing, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, can go, I, I can go first then. So, go, 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 go. Um, I, I think that that's generally Nintendo's like marketing strategy now, where regardless like of what we want to see, like I'm sure many of us want to see everything like available at launch, but I think that just that's just the way Nintendo does it so that it keeps interest in the game for longer time. So you see it in Animal Crossing, you saw it in Splatoon 2. So I think that that's probably what they're gonna do. And honestly, I don't have a problem with it because I like, I get excited every time there's like a new update or even even like the, the balance updates, I get a little bit excited because I'm like, wow, they're like caring about our game and they're like doing something with it. So I, I think that's probably the model that they're gonna use for Splatoon 3. Yeah, so um, what's it called? Yeah, I think as much as like we want them to just give us every weapons day one, <laughs> but like I like I don't think they're gonna do that again. Uh because it's like I think when they release a new weapon every now and then it like rebuilds and like mm -hmm. makes people talk about Splatoon every single time because I think that's that's literally what we did in Splatoon two like well Splatoon three. That's what what we did in Splatoon two. Um like mm -hmm. when a new weapon came out it's just like oh guys the new weapon's coming out what do you think of it how is it going to change everything like I, I think that's cool honestly uh yeah like it's got i mean i think the what would be cool is just that instead of just releasing every new weapon or well, just having just releasing or well, just having every single weapon like it would be nice just to have like one of every weapon so like, like the vanilla version. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like if they had it like that, that would be kind of cool. Um, except like if they're hiding certain new weapons that they're probably <laughs> gonna give us like from a year's time when the game comes out. Like suddenly there's a uh, if I was to make something off the spot, like a water hose weapon that's not the aerospray, spray it's just some something completely different you know mm -hmm. or i don't know some sort of war kind of weapon it'll be cool to see you know i also wanted to mention that they probably are gonna have that kind of model because there's probably a lot of new players coming into splatoon 3 also so i feel like if you dumped all of the like a hundred so odd weapons into the game at first it's like really overwhelming for new players <laughs> So I think releasing it a little bit by little bit is also like marketing towards people who are coming into the Splatoon franchise, which I think is is nice. Yeah. Also, do you remember that the first weapon they released on Splatoon 2 was the custom Splattershot Junior? <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> why? <laughs> Just well, keep interesting weapons. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I think they're always going to start off with the Junior. Tell us I'm how you really Jane. feel about the uh, junior, Martha. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just a custom. <laughs> like, why? What the first one? Like, everyone was waiting for Hydra. I remember it took ages for Hydra to come out and H3. And, but we already had the, like, the two versions of junior, two versions of GooTuber. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, an, an additional okay. question to that one. Um, what do you think will be the first weapon? You pick up when Splatoon 3 releases, and why is it the bow and arrow? <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't used it yet, so yeah. we have to. I yeah. mean, I, I mean, I did the same thing in Splatoon 2. Like we didn't, like Duelies. we didn't know Duelies was a thing, so I was just like, I have to play the Duelies yeah. now. Like it's new, <laughs> so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's gonna I be think interesting. I'm in the minority. Like I don't think like I'm gonna pick up the bow and arrow. Like I'll use it, and I'll like. <laughs> I'll use it because I'm curious, not because I'm gonna main it. But every yeah. like everyone I've spoken to, they're like, "Oh man, I'm bow and yes. arrow main." It's like it's like full on <laughs> Hunger Games in here. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if it's like the worst thing to play, and the the most exhausting? You're still gonna main it. <laughs> some people, some people will. They're like yeah. very committed to it. 
yeah some people will like try to they would like to be that person to push it mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah Okay, so let's move on. Martha, okay, so the next, next question. The next question is by Nike. Uh, so he says, uh, he asks, top three maps you want to see return and top three you never want to play again. Oh, all right. I got mine already. So, okay, go uh, ahead, dude. The ones that I never want to see again. Why is it Arrow <laughs> one <or more? laughs> no, <top one. laughs> Okay, starting with Kelp, but Arrow one more is like, it's on or off. It's not in the top three, but it's honorable okay. mention. No, <laughs> stop! Why is it not in the top three? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I want to know. What's so, your top three? <laughs> so, Kelp, Mori, maybe Kelp. No, stop that! I love Kelp! Kelp is awesome. You take those words back, dude! Look, I'm just saying, <laughs> I've had... Words back. <laughs> Recently, I've had a really bad experience with Kelp. <laughs> I don't know if you like you saw the stream the other day, but like, I played a whole solo rotation and I won four times and lost eighteen times. No, stop. Eighteen oh. times. It sounds I, like one of my streams. <laughs> I've never had a, a a rotation worse than that ever. It's like it was the worst. What and camp was, was the it? culprit. It was it was camp zones and uh, uh, starfish zones. But we barely played starfish Ooh. and we, like oh, we lost rotation. every camp. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Okay. Um, so, honorable mention though, Arrow Animal. Yeah, we. I, I don't like that map either. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I guess maps that I'd love to see back. Uh, I'd love to see Ink Block back. That's always a cool yes, map to play. Yes, one. Mm -hmm. I would love to see Museum uh, D Alfonsino. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Splatoon map. <laughs> I want the meme to come back again, where Museum <laughs> Zones is always in the rotation. I love that map so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, that um, was great. I'd love to see Mahi Mahi Resort as well. Yeah. That yeah. was kind of your map. I remember yeah. That. It was oh, a really no, fun the, map. Mahi Mahi is like the f war flashbacks for me. <laughs> I like seeing Dynamos do one flick and cap the song. Like, the, yeah. one just one the number one call out in yeah. games be like, oh, I fell off the map. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess for me, the, the top three I'd want to see return, I want Camp to come back. So I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Civil War. <laughs> SMH. Um, I Fight like Inkblot a lot. And I like for Splatoon 2 maps, I also really like Humpback. Um, so I think I would like those three to come back. Uh, if you're talking Splatoon 1, I, I really like Mahi Mahi, but, um, so yeah, so I'd like Mahi Mahi to come back too, but, um, in top three that I'd never want to play again would be Kelp Dome, Arowana Mall, and if we're talking Splatoon 1, Hammerhead Bridge should stay dead forever, ever, <laughs> like, it should never come back. Yeah. yeah. I forgot in that. No, <laughs> she, no, she's no. erased it from her memory. <laughs> I want to and, forget. <laughs> so yeah, th those Rain. would be my, my least three favorites. <laughs> I saw some urchin underpass in chat. Urchin oh. underpass? They could... Urchin underpass. Imagine oh. the original hmm. urchin underpass, like before the update. Oh my god. Oh, oh my no. Narrow. <laughs> no. 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 like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you just no. can't do anything. <laughs> 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 I'm, glad, oh. I'm glad no one the said memories. they want Port Mackerel gone because that's my personal favorite map. Port and I know like, that's a very unpopular opinion. <laughs> I think Port, Port is, is good like... if they just change the zone. Like they change it back mm. to Splatoon 1 zone. I prefer that. Like double zone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the double zone zone. That was Splatoon interesting. You would have like Ooh. two or three minute stalemate with nobody having <laughs> two, two zones captured. Bringing me back to Moray Towers 1, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Mori is probably going to come back. Because... 100%! Yeah. Yeah. Splatoon they, they, they won the like voting so for the most popular map, yeah. Was the first one to come back. Yeah. Really yeah. It doesn't okay. come back. And the Japanese like it, so... We don't have a choice. Yeah. They don't know what they like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Um, so... Oh, there's, there's three questions by Ladias. Shout out to Ladius, by the way. He was also, go, nice. You're also your fellow Australian. My fellow Australian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we can split them up, Martha, if you want. I can start with the first okay. one. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That's a 
That's a really wide question. What is everyone's favorite Splatoon memory? And maybe um, not just in-game. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think... I, I, I want to say that most of the community members' favorite memory of Splatoon is not in-game. <laughs> just... <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the, if you... The worst, maybe. IRL, <laughs> I think those those memories definitely overtake anything that's ever happened in the game. Um, my I, I think my favorite Splatoon memory was 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 seeing Nogami San and like just I saw his face and I went <laughs> to talk to him and tears just so many tears oh I love you guys so much. <laughs> he was like he looked very worried about what <laughs> was going on with me. <laughs> But I'm just like, I'm I'm so happy you made this game. I'm I'm just so I'm so I made so many good friends and memories. I thank you. I thank you. I met the army. So that was really, really cool. Like probably top ten memories of my life. I can share that. <laughs> I met him at a Gamescom tournament that we played a couple years ago and all I remember me saying was Arigato, Arigato. <laughs> Yeah. I had a moment with Nogami too, actually. Like, I <laughs> <laughs> a moment with Nogami song. <laughs> it, it's like, like, so I lost the the UK champs, and I was I was like sad, like mm -hmm. really really sad because I really yeah. I remember them. seeing you. You were very and, sad. And like everyone was dancing, but like Nogami was like there. <laughs> and he noticed me, and it was just like he walked up to me, and it was just like. Hey man, you did a good job, and I've watched like your videos and stuff, and wow. you know I think what you're doing is so cool. I mean, obviously he didn't say it himself; his okay. translator said it, but like yeah. you know, it's you know I had a, like that, that shit me up a lot. So knowing that you know. he watches yeah, your content that. is <laughs> probably mm -hmm. dream come true. Like I just want to add that we're talking about Nogami San memories, like on the UK <laughs> championships, <laughs> like yeah. we were all dancing at the end because for some reason I think the Comic Con or whatever thing had finished closing, already yeah. and it yeah. was only us from the nintendo booth so it was only like like most than half of the people had left already so it's just like the most hardcore splatoon fans there so we were just like having fun and dancing and all the event nogami was with like uh how do you say like bodyguards like don't talk to nogami you can't take pictures with nogami <laughs> don't talk to him he was, like his own like bench on um like on the public, like you couldn't talk to Nogami. But then by the end, it was only us, and then Nogami comes to us and starts dancing with us. Yeah. And it was like Amazing. really fun, and it was one of the best memories I have. And actually, because he remembered me, because I talked to him, and I I said thank you for all the great memories that like you're allowed you have allowed us to have and and he re i think he remembered me because he came to me and he sh shook my hand and he's like thank you for playing the game and i was like oh, <laughs> oh my, my heart <laughs> and then he left yeah <laughs> also did you guys get an autograph from him and did he draw a squid as well yeah for you i have yeah. i have for me have, uh, <laughs> oh. the, oh. the autograph there in that that frame it's a poster and it has Nogami signature. <laughs> I haven't signed I my Splatoon more... 1 copy. I made him sign my controller, but then I used the controller and it's not there anymore. Is that <laughs> 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 oh, no. it this controller actually? Oh no. <laughs> Hands too sweaty. <laughs> So it's not yeah. I need to get another one. <laughs> Maybe ask him for, for another oh one. Yeah. <laughs> Just he call gave, him. He gave us presents when we met him. He gave us the little, like, um, what are those, like, eraser things from the Octo expansion called? I can't remember. Um, the little things that you get at the end of the level. Don't ask oh. us about single player. Men cakes. The men cakes. cakes. Yeah, he gave us oh. a little men cake, like, from a little, like, capsule thing. Oh. That was really oh, cute. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, so mm -hmm. the next question. Yeah. Um, how was Breeze 2020 and are you looking forward to the next one? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Who isn't? <laughs> um, so how yeah, was it? <laughs> it was really good. It was really fun. I, I got to meet a lot of really cool people and um, most of the people <laughs> in the chat know that I'm not. EU. I'm 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 from America, so I like flew really far to to get to Breeze. You were um, very tired as well. I was yeah. so tired. I slept an hour, a total of one hour. So like, 
when when I went with uh, I traveled with with my my husband um, with with Melissa and with Barry and we were just like passed out on the stairs the entire time but it was so much fun I got I got really just I was very moved by all the people I got to meet it was really really cool and so yes I am definitely looking forward to the next one hope you can all come right. if that eventually happens yes, yeah it will happen <laughs> yes the plans are coming in. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, Gaku. If, if you didn't know, or if you're just figuring it out, I, I am a Breeze TO or the, the stream man. What? Mr. Streamer. Who, oh, you Mr. Streamer. Oh, Streamer. Crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, uh, at least from, uh, at least Breeze from my perspective, it's just like, I mean, it's still a lot of fun because like, it's like, you know, you get to... I mean, obviously, I'm helping out with the stream, but I also like go around and walk around and see how everyone's doing, and I think that's one of the cool things. I mean, I mean, well, last breeze I competed. Oh yeah, we, yeah. Wait, I was on yeah, the we team. Yeah, we were on the team. We <laughs> oh yeah, that was... <laughs> yeah, that was fun as well. We got like we did like really really well. Like that we was, that pick was... Up. yeah, <laughs> it was that was so much fun. Um, what's it called? But yeah, like Breeze is just Breeze is so much fun because it's just like I mean, from it being like you know an event that's in my like home uh, city, uh, it's also just really cool just to see a bunch of people who share that same experience, like share uh, the love for Splatoon, like I just I do as well. So you know that kind of stuff is just like so cool, and mm -hmm. it's also fun just to go to like Teddy's booth to say to ask how much money he made, and he's just like, oh, seventy pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait for the lands to come back. Me All too. Right. Next okay, question. Next one. Yeah, we're all set now, so we have to carry on. Um, which weapon did you think took the most? Look the most. Look. Okay, <laughs> it's so, it's so <laughs> tiny. Look the most interesting in the Splatoon three announcement. And why was it E-Leader? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that 96, though. Yeah, I, I was going to say, dude's probably going to say that 96. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, I mean, people have been saying, like, it's uh, like if a 96 and an A3 had a baby, that's what it looks like. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I've been thinking, like, what if they change, like, the i guess the how the weapon works so like if it because i think on some twitter post it said that it's like reminiscence of these two weapons but uh what if they change how that those weapons work like uh you have 96 h3 gal what if it's a three shot kill with 96 range no rng and uh the same fire rate you know that seems kind of op <laughs> <laughs> It'll be amazing, though. Come on, <laughs> Imagine, dude. You Hopefully. can tell this man likes 96s. Just a little I bit, like, yeah. It, just a little bit. <laughs> as long as it has a wall and a kraken, it's just amazing. Kraken? <laughs> yeah. Oh, kraken? Are you being kraken back too? All right, I see you. <laughs> um, I think I think the weapon that looked most interesting to me was probably that fat blaster. Like I'm never, I'm never gonna pick it up. I'm not a blaster player, but there's just something so interesting about like the curvature of that blaster. <laughs> Look at them curves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I, I just saw it and I'm like, wow, why does that blaster look like that? <laughs> so thick, <laughs> thick. Yeah, I'm, I'm that. looking forward to seeing what it, it it's gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. E-Leader did look great. The E-Leader uh, 8K, as honest. I call it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so the next question. The okay, next we question can, yeah, is, uh, we can just... Thanks, Ladia, for the questions. What is one map... Uh, this question is by... Oh, one half of three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's... Uh, what is one map from Splatoon 1 that comes to Splatoon 3? And they said, uh, mine is Mahi Mahi. E uh, yeah. Splatoon 1, okay. Mm -hmm. Museum. 100%. Please, yes. just do it. It's, it's, it's so good. The Alfantino. It's such a yeah. good map. 
I think for me, Mahi Mahi is a good choice, but uh, I also really like Flounder. I don't know why I like Flounder, but I really like oh. Flounder. <laughs> if they redesigned Flounder, like the idea and, and mm. the setting, it was great, but the, the layout? Uh. Well, how it works? I just, I, I'm just thinking uh, Flounder Clamblet. Oh god. And I, I'm thinking, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, like really having nice. to go through the buildings in the oh no 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 yeah <laughs> I, I just realized too like uh on the topic of like redesigning uh since like you know how i don't know if you guys saw the twitter post where it's like um they're looking for jobs for renovation mm. of maps mm. is it do you guys think it's just like they're, they're, because they're, they're definitely not porting it. It just like gives me the idea of uh, they take a map from an old game, but they completely change change it in like a chaotic based theme or something like that. You know, like what do you yeah, guys like think a, about that? Post apocalypse. Also, what I was yeah. thinking about, yeah. it would be great if they implemented a map that resembles um, some of the places of the Octo expansion, like maybe the underground or something like that. Oh, that that would be so cool. That. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like I like the idea of like redesigning the maps to fit the the theme of the <laughs> of the of the new game. I think there's like so much like, potential. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, they like, think of it like the the splat fests where they they kind of redesign the map just a little bit. So like mm -hmm. at nighttime, you get like the the lanterns on like Skipper or like just something mm -hmm. small like that. I think is even pretty cool. All right. Then we got a next question. Let me make that bigger so I can actually read it. <laughs> okay, so uh, anxiety materialized uh, at Spider's End asks, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are discussing what will happen to Marina, but what about Pearl? After the final test, she said something about always final sticking fast. with Marina. Uh, fast, yes. I still can't read it. <laughs> um, with uh, about always sticking with Marina no matter what. Do you guys think she will disappear along with Marina? Oh. Oh, I have like this a whole... Lana, do you want to go first? Because I have like this whole like... Theory. theory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I was thinking that like... um, You know like how in Splatoon... Between Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2, Marie also disappeared? And like, mm -hmm. and then like Callie did the the Callie thing. I want to say it's probably gonna be something similar, where like, you know, like there's some sort of story that happens between Splatoon two and Splatoon three that you find out as you're playing the story mode of Splatoon three, where like maybe Pearl is like has run away and done something, or is a refugee or a fugitive or something. <laughs> And you, you like have to find her or something. So maybe something like that might happen. So I think that she will disappear, but she's not, it's not going to be the last that we hear of her, is my opinion. All right. So, yeah. like, <laughs> Team uh, foil hats now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have, like, like, I have, like, this, like, whole theory of uh, how this could play out. So, like, we don't know who Mr. Grizz is completely, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So it's like at the so based off that on the end of the last Splatfest that we just had, there was like this thing that Marina said where it was like kind of like some foreshadowing, like what if I'm not gonna be a a DJ or something like that? Like, it, like I have, I actually have it on. I recorded it. I don't exactly know <laughs> word by word, but she was <laughs> on the on the lines of saying that. What I was thinking is that something's probably going to happen to Marina, or not really happen to her, but I'm thinking that she is possibly posing as Mr. Grizz. Hmm. Hmm. This is this is big, like. <laughs> yes. I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah. it might what be if a what if you stretch. applied for the job and and you designed Made it? Made it happen. Yes. Easy. Like, you're always you just right leaked it. You just leaked it right here. <laughs> I mean. Okay, no, I just want to ask cool. something else uh, along the lines of this questions that I of uh, this question that I just uh, thought of. Do you think Callie and Marie are coming back, or just Pearl and Marina? Uh, Callie and Marie are probably gonna come back. Yeah, I was gonna they say they kind of have to. 
Can I add something too? Go on. <laughs> yeah. Do you think there will be another duo introduced, or do you think they'll just stop there? Like, you know, you I, like some, I feel like at some point they have to stop because it's just like we're. I mean, yeah, so Splatoon Three is gonna sell even well, and if Nintendo like money and stuff like that, they're probably gonna make another game. So it's just like, all right, Splatoon Three, we got two more, we got a deal. Oh, Splatoon Four, oh, here's another deal. It's just like, when is this gonna? No, happen? no, no, no. But if you're thinking about, <laughs> if you're thinking about making money, you have to introduce the duos because who else are gonna be on the amiibos? Come yes. on, dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, you're, you're actually right with that. <laughs> hey, okay, hot take. I want to add that it's time that we get a uh, well, a male uh, idol, not just uh, yes. And the other one is good. gonna be Two the girls. stinger from Salmon Run. So it's gonna be different. So it's not gonna be like another like uh, female idol thing duo. It's uh, mm -hmm. it can be two males or a male and a female. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be interesting to do that. You know, I was thinking, I was actually talking about this with my chat last night about what you might expect for the idols. Some people came up with the idea that it could be like, like a like a punk rock band instead of like a like a DJ. So it's like mm. it's more of the like the post the post chaos world mm. or whatever. Or um, like you could have like one one male, one female, and they could be instrumentalists. Or there was a mm -hmm. lot of like different ideas that was kind of thrown out there. So. I think I think it is pretty open ended, um, considering the like the the environment of the of the game. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with. Lots of possibilities. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, Martha, it's your o turn. Okay. So the next questions by Nate at Toy Revolt. Uh, they ask uh, for solo matches. What do you guys find to be effective in coordinating with teammates? Uh, probably in my opinion, like, from what I see, like, when you're like an armor, when you're always using armor, it's probably, how do I explain it? Like, in solo, like, solo is so nonchalant, so it's kind of hard to really describe. <laughs> But like, I'm so done with solo talking about solo, <laughs> solo coordinating like, with teammates. Like, <laughs> like with solo, it's just like, I guess the specials that are really easy to get coordinated right is just making sure that if you have an armor, uh, just noticing that if all your teammates are up, because uh, you can kind of pop out armor whenever you want like best case scenarios where when you want to pop it is just when all your teammates are up or teammates that are probably like close range weapons and they're probably are most likely going to go in uh you know that can actually use the armor effectively like you would kind of armor for them and also check if uh how many people are alive like you know if there's one person alive or zero on the other team maybe that's not a time where you use armor or of course if there's four then yeah go ahead pop the armor and you know also check like what positions where your you know teammates are on the map uh to like use armor in a time where they're actually gonna your teammates are gonna benefit from it yeah i think um being aware of like even the the call outs that your team makes so like if you see the ouch don't just ignore it Generally, like, when I die, it's because somebody came from behind and flanked. So I'm, like, spamming ouch because I want people to look at where I'm dead. <laughs> to be like, there's somebody coming from behind, and usually no one looks and everyone dies. But I think if you spam actually, it, they will only see it once, right? I don't ouch. know, but I spam it. It doesn't matter. Because I also spam I've it. I've <laughs> seen so many people complain, like, don't ouch, don't spam ouch, I don't care that you die because you're bad. And it's like, <laughs> You're not spamming ouch because you oh I'm dead oops no it's because you want to tell yes. your teammates that someone killed you especially like like if you go and feed there's no reason to spam ouch but if like you're a backline and someone kill you mm -hmm. uh, that, like the, there's something wrong you know so you gotta spam ouch I think yeah. <laughs> don't ignore the ouches <laughs> yeah or you know uh, instead of coordinating you can just carry your whole team and win yeah. it's fine that's the other good thing. for him. yeah <laughs> <laughs> do three wipes in a row <laughs> yeah <laughs> just win it's, it's nah, as but... dude said that time ago if you want to be good just win yeah easy yeah. just don't miss your shot forehead 
Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> it is it is very difficult to coordinate with your teammates with the lack of communication options that the game gives you. So just to be aware of like like what dude said, aware of where your teammates are, who's up, where the enemies are, you know, use use what you have to as best as you can. All yep. right. We got a, a few more. So it's another Felix. Okay, it's Felix one five six six nine seven four five. What are your greatest expectations in Splatoon three? Like in general. Ooh. All right. Uh, <laughs> you want to go first? <laughs> Better netcode. <laughs> maybe something we haven't that, talked is that, about. Is maybe. that the unanimous decision? Maybe. Like the unanimous <laughs> answer? Nothing about maybe maps or or uh, weapons because we talked about it already. Maybe something like. Outfits or perk system, new map modes, stuff like that. Right? Oh, okay. Hope they came this time around saying Windows XP at least, <laughs> <laughs> not 98. Yeah, yeah, that's that's probably my greatest expectation. <laughs> if we're talking about like features in the game, I think um, a lot of a lot of people have uh, complaints about how to like how grindy it is to get chunks for the game. So maybe yeah. we rehashing the system to kind of make it easier to get chunks but maybe not so easy that people can just build whatever they want mm. i don't know <laughs> make it so like your month like the money that we get in this game could just buy chunks mm, it would be yeah. so easy just yeah. all right i want to <laughs> pay like a hundred thousand or ten thousand for ten chunks that's all, like I have all this money, 10 million. Nine, 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 coins. Or just make it <laughs> so, use it. make it expensive enough that that re-rolling doesn't become completely useless or pointless. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for re-rolling, you still get three chunks, right? And it costs one mm. snail. So if you want to buy chunks, it maybe has to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that in Splatoon 1, you could re-roll with money? Yep. Yeah. It was so good. I don't know why they removed that in Splatoon 2. <laughs> we are rich in Splatoon. <laughs> yeah. It's like, there's okay. no use for money, it's crazy. So. When you're rich and you don't know how to spend your money. That's okay. us. <laughs> so actually, so the next question... The next question is really similar to this to this one. Yeah? Um, so it's by yeah. Oppo Whisker. Uh, they say, what is one thing you really hope they will add in Splatoon 3? And what is one thing you really hope they will remove? And we'll just do the second part. What will they remove? Mm -hmm. Or should yeah. they remove? I mean... Oh. Kelp them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, other than like gaps, I, I'm not really sure if I'd want them to remove anything outright. Like, I, oh. I, I like most of the systems. Bring the back game. the mini games while you wait in the yes, lobby. Yes, that's what I want they would add. That's what I would love for them to yes, add. Yeah. Like a little the squid jumping games. game or whatever, the squid racing. Squid jump, please. You know? <laughs> yeah. So like, this is not this is something like I guess I don't really know yet because I don't. I mean, I feel like they're gonna make new game types and all that, mm -hmm. or new rank game types. And if they do decide to bring back all, uh, older game types, then that's cool too. Um, but let's just say they bring back they bring back all the new all the game types that we knew previously, like Zones Tower, Rainmaker, Clan Blitz, but also have more ranked modes as well, like. What if it's a thing if we had like seven or six rank modes? Like, I think what would be good is just that don't make it so we have to get X rank in all individual ranked modes. Like, just make it as a one, like just one. Because I don't know about you, but grinding all of that would just suck. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. And it's just, I think for a new person's perspective, it's such a grind just to be like, all right, I am, I have to rank up my Splat Zones rank, my Tower Control rank, my Clan Blitz rank, my Rain Mechamack rank, and now I also have to do this for my uh, Eight Ball rank or my Rocket <laughs> rank <laughs> or my whatever else rank. Like it's just gonna be like, it's gonna be kind of ridiculous. Like if we're gonna have to do that, so. Mm -hmm. Maybe what they could do is just make, like, 
I know it's kind of harsh already, but like make it just a little bit more harsh. <laughs> so like, oh, you thanks. know, <laughs> thanks, <dude. laughs> make the rank system a little you know, bit more You know, you know, there are there are Nintendo off more ears people. in this yeah. panel right now, listening to you being like, oh wow, rank this too easy. Let's make it more difficult for everybody. <laughs> like, I, I think what they could do is they they can make it. Me, dude? <laughs> they can make it harsher, but like fair at the same time, because it's like. Look, if, if everyone has one, like, if there's only one rank to focus on, then I think it's going to be easier to, like, base where everyone is uh, on an individual basis. Because it's like, I mean, to be very honest, if you're good at Splat Zones, you're probably going to be good at every other mode as well, you know, because, you know, all you need is really, I mean, to be honest, you just need, like, a, a decent understanding of how Splatoon works, and then you're basically X rank. So it's like, you know. It's no difference. <laughs> yeah. I also read in the chat, give us skippable news. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wait. I'll, I'll, I would oh, like you have to something add. To add. If, yeah, yeah. If, I, if I, could, if we, I could add something, I would add a new, like, a new rank, like uh, X plus, for example. And make, like, X, normal X, like, people between, like, 2000 and then... Yeah, it's like 2,000 and 2,300, something like that. And then 2,300 or 2,400 up, be X plus. That, was, that would be something I would add. So oh, yeah, I think it would oh, be sorry. like a be better experience for the players that are grinding for like a top, a top level. Okay, sure. yeah. I also have something <laughs> I would like to have added, and um, that's for all Salmon Run fans out here. I want an endless mode in Salmon Run. Yes. Hmm. Please. Oh, I would love that. Oh. Actually, I think Dude mentioned something about it, like, yeah. not too long ago. Yeah, it's like, uh, like, it would be, like, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but, like, I loved Call of Duty Black Ops, and the thing I've loved about it is that I could just always jump on, and it's, it's a thing where, like, grinding for like a super high level and like knowing that each level gets harder and harder each time is just so satisfying and you know like the thing is like i like salmon run but like i get bored of it really fast because it's like yeah i got to level three and that's it and it's just like the difficulty doesn't really change other than like you know obviously your your salmon run professional pro professional <laughs> changed but like you know once you understand how to play that, then it's a, it's just kind of repeat, like, every single time. Like, the thing was, like, Call of Duty Zombies is that, yeah, the health of the zombies gets stronger every single round. And it's just, mm -hmm. like, I mean, of course, you have all these power-ups, too, that make it easier. But, you know, that kind of, like, adds to the experience that, all right, every, like, I mean, I, I personally, I made it to solos, like, level 38 by myself in Kino to Tone. It was so cool. Like, I was just like, yeah. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I wish something like that was happening again because mm. like I feel like that would actually because there are like there's a salmon run community in Splatoon 2 I, yeah. I, even, I didn't mm -hmm. even know that yeah. like Genesis uh, some Genesis tournament I can't remember which one dedicated servers if you go overfishing yeah. on a regular basis yeah like I just feel like that that kind of community would explode if uh, yeah. there was an endless mode because it's going to be more competitive like People mm -hmm. are going to be figuring out how how high of a level can I get to, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, people are going to, like, play for that. So that would be so cool. That would be very cool. Agreed. Yeah. All right. Then, next up. Uh, is my turn again? Sorry, I lost count. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, Queen Yamara Splatoon asks... Uh, what's the number one mistake you see people make in Splat, whether in actual game, or now the interesting part, or community-wise? I, I have a I have an answer for that one. Okay. <laughs> you can go um, first. I think the number one mistake people make... Okay, so I will preface this in saying that everyone wants different things from the community, and because of that, not everyone is going to be on the same page about things. Um, for me personally, what I'm looking for in a community is, you know, people who are supportive of each other. Like, no one want, no one doesn't want that, right? Like, to have people around you who are supportive, encouraging, who want to see the best for you, who are nice to you, right? 
Uh, I think the number one mistake when it comes to building a community like that is thinking that everyone's opinion matters and to have everyone share it. Like, you, if you have something that you consider a hot take, really think about, should I post this or not? <laughs> because I think there are some things that just really should just stay in your head and not be out in the open. And I think that, yeah. honestly, that's a sign of maturity. It's that you can, you can apply like, that for <laughs> life in general. Right, you can take that You can take that and apply it for yes. life. But I think it's a sign of maturity that you can just sit back, be like, hey, I'm heated about this thing. Let me think about it for a second. Let me sit on it. Let me just sleep on it. And then tomorrow, if I feel similarly, if I can find a better way to say it than being like, haha, you suck, and start attacking people based <laughs> on their characters, then maybe, maybe you should say it. But I think that people in general should need to really think about the things that they post online. That's all. Yeah, I completely <laughs> agree with that. Uh, like, I kind of actually want to go off that too. Um, I feel like sometimes people in this Splatoon community, uh, they forget to focus on what's actually good in our community because there is like, you know, there's a huge amount of good despite the mm -hmm. bad that is like, yes. that's there. Yes. Um, because, like, when you get kind of get into that spectrum of, like, oh, this person said this, everyone, you know, talk uh, talk crap about them and all that type of stuff, like, they kind of get into the notion of, all right, what's the next bad thing someone else is going to say so we can go ahead and blow it up and show our community is like this. Like, what if it was... Like, what if we did that, but for all the sick things that we actually do in this community? Because, you know, if mm -hmm. we see, like, we're, what we're doing now, oh, we're doing a podcast. What if we had the whole community just back us like that? Or X person did this guy, or anything like that. Like, if we had more people in the community doing that kind of stuff, that would, like, you know, like, it would, it would just paint us... Uh, it would well, not paint us, but it, we would just be much better people in general because it's like, you know, we're not always focusing on what's negative. Like we're focusing on more what's positive and, you know, mm -hmm. the positive things are going to make us happier in life in general. So why not focus on that more than yeah. just looking at, oh, this person did this. Like, of course, we should always be calling out the, the terrible things that some people do because some people decide to be be idiots and they do stupid things but you know don't forget about to so don't forget about supporting the positive things because mm -hmm. we yeah. have many of those and yes some of them some people really don't get supported enough for some of the work they do uh that they actually do in this community especially mm -hmm. behind the scenes because yeah. like, there are certain tls like that uh you know that yeah. definitely deserves that support too so the thing Agreed. is that the trolls always get the most attention but that's mm. that's, that's i think the, that yeah. i think that comes uh, also with the 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 people in the community like this community i want to say is more young than many other communities and because of they see something that makes them heated and they'll they'll respond instantly to it or they'll call them out or they'll you know um whether it, but like those kinds of things are things that are not like like strictly bad i would say like it's just like impulsive they might be like a, like a personal attack or something like that but you know i think it comes with experience to like let those kinds of things go uh and it comes with experience to know when to speak up for something and when like to be like you know it's fine whatever <laughs> you know so i i don't know i think like what dude said we we really should focus on things that are positive um and just like i guess to add one more thing to not give people who have bad opinions uh any visibility because people who have opinions that are harmful to others don't deserve to have that platform and we shouldn't mm -hmm. give it to them i remember guys <laughs> in, in the end it just comes down to one thing and that is we all love splatoon hell yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Pretty serious question. Right okay, there. so <laughs> this, is, this is the last question that I'm going to ask. Uh, so this is from YMAX, Splatoon 3 Hype, YMAX uh, 561. 
They ask uh, thoughts on Ink Suka in Splatoon 3 and how do they balance this alongside what looks like Sting Ray Mark 2. Uh, <laughs> so I guess uh, Ink Zuka, from what I see in the trailer, just personally, uh, it seems like, of course, it's like, it's like nine shots or nine, it's like, it's like burst fire with three shots. Well, three shots, like you shoot three shots, and it's like you only have three of those. Three times mm -hmm. three equals nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, let me um, do the math on this. <laughs> but like, uh, what's it called? <laughs> like those three shots, I think it's like, um, they've made it like, uh, at least from what I saw from the trailer, that it's it's like exposure shots. So one bullet mm -hmm. will not instantly kill you, but if two of them do, then you'll die. I mm -hmm. think by doing that, that's good balance because, you know, old Zuka shoot him once, you're <laughs> dead. Like, Yeah, <laughs> touch him in the foot, they're dead. <laughs> Literally. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think I, mean, I think it's cool that they've done it like this because it's like, it's, it feels like it's going to be a strong special, but mm -hmm. not so strong where it's just like, I hate having to play against this. And it's also nice too that if I do play against it, uh, I know that that Inkzuka only has three shots, so, you know, as long as I'm staying aware that I'll have, have how many shots they've shot, then uh, it's not going to mm -hmm. be so bad to fight against too. You know, thinking about that though, since they're bringing back the Inkzuka, I wonder what kind of specials they're going to bring back from Splatoon Ink 1, but like modified. <laughs> So that it Kraken. isn't so like, yeah, I was thinking Kraken, like what it, I, I want to see the Kraken back, but I don't want to see Splatoon 1 Kraken yeah. and Splatoon 3. Perhaps so the Kraken is like the Booyah Bomb that you can actually kill if you try hard enough, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I want to see what kind of uh, modifications they're going to make to these, these things, because I think it would be really nice to see. I'm really nostalgic for a lot of us to see these specials yeah. back. But... Yes. Um, not in the way that Splatoon 1 had them. <laughs> or for some people to see it for the first time, because not everybody yes. plays Splatoon 1. Mm -hmm. Yes, 100%. <laughs> and there will, be people, yeah, like... there will be people who haven't played Splatoon 2 when Splatoon 3 is there. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is pretty cool. I kind of have like a wild thought. What if they have like a like Lochte monster, like a Kraken Lochte, like Loctis Montness monster? Mm -hmm. Mm. And it's just like this giant, like Megazord beast, where it's just like <laughs> it's just walking. Okay, around wait, wait. What like... did you just say? The the lock. Lockty. It's like uh. Is it not the Loch Ness monster? Yeah, but we, uh, I think we like we call it like Lockty for short. I, or some some people in Scotland do. I think. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> it's a British don't thing. Quote... I see. Yeah, don't quote me, but. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I was just thinking, like, what if they like mix Kraken and Bola together, and it's just like this big Kraken thing just like walking around. Kraken <laughs> Imagine that. Tossing at people, you know. That'll be kind of cool. <laughs> Amazing. This is buff Kraken just like. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, no, I'm just... How yes. did you come up with that? You, you should make a video on that one, dude. Yes. I think oh. it'll do really well. <laughs> Just like so what we'll is, you know? Salmon run boss or something. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, man. I, I'd love to see that. <laughs> All right. Think? Knowing that, we will move on to the very last question. We've been going on for over an hour now. So I think we should call it a day soon. Okay. So, um, at Lex Break asks what are you gonna name your little buddies i assume they mean the little small fry salmonids if you even can name them uh, uh, and that I'm question goes creative. to everyone even in chat yeah <laughs> i'm not creative so i'm probably gonna ask chat what i should name <laughs> <a little buddy. laughs> first thing i Fair read enough. was timmy by slim <laughs> little uh, timmy you know, it's my my voice called Split timmy team. I've already, I've already, I've already stated this. Like, That's Timmy. Little Timmy. <laughs> little Timmy. He has the greatest face. Like I, I, I'm so glad I caught that picture that I posted on Twitter. Like with the perfect frame where he's just smiling. It's just like it's, so, he's pure. so pure. He's so pure. It's just like yeah. I have to. We have to protect his smile, dude. Yeah. I know. I thought the first keep... thing that came to my mind when I saw the little buddy was the the 
the pets that you have in Among Us. And when you get killed, mm. the pet stays there. No, and I just imagine. No, don't yeah, say that. It just, <laughs> it just keeps sitting know. there. Oh, <laughs> my heart hurts. No. <laughs> Poor Timmy. Little Timmy waiting for his masters to come back. Where are oh, they? No. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I'm looking at his face right now. Imagine I caught no. him. No. <laughs> I, mean, so I mean, if, if Among Us X Platoon, <laughs> that would be perfect. I hope that they Nogami talks with them Among Us people because that would be so cool. Yeah. But like a spin off game. It'll make me sad every time. No. <laughs> yes. Poor Timmy. Poor Timmy. So, okay, we've agreed on the name. That's good. <laughs> Little Timmy. Yes, Little Timmy. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh any any bonus questions? Maybe one more bonus question. So we're not too sad about little Timmy. Okay, I just there. I just thought about a random question. Like mm -hmm. I was thinking, should I ask something else? And I thought of something, but I already forgot. So I'm asking this now. Uh, <laughs> if you could choose a Splatfest theme, what would it be? Oh. Mm, that's a that's a that's a difficult question to be put on the spot. Mm. Martha with those hard hitting questions. Technology. Yeah, I'm like I'm like very or cold. Cereal. I literally was gonna say that's what dude's gonna say. Hot cereal <laughs> or cold cereal? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, cold. we saved it. We saved it for a, for another time. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. You ask you you. Oh, uh, someone in the chat says. Cat versus dog. Uh, do you remember that was the first ever yeah, Splatfest? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was way back in the day. Cat versus dog. I have one. Splatoon yeah. one versus Splatoon two. True. That would actually be kind of cool. I mean, Splatoon two might win because more yeah. people played the game, but. Cat yeah. and Marie. No, 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 no. If no, more no, people no. play yeah. the game, that means they lose. Yes. Is that right? Dude, come yeah. on. <laughs> if it's more popular, they always lose, yep. right? Oh yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Marie versus Pearl and Marina. <laughs> Pearl versus Marina? That'd be interesting, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Do you have a uh, another bonus question? <laughs> um I had a bonus question, but it has already been answered. Mm. I um I already asked it. It was the question if there's gonna be a new duo introduced. Mm. So we had them before. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I guess um, we could call it a day. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for coming out. This was Spill the Ink pilot episode. Thanks to Dude and <laughs> Milana. Make sure to check everybody's. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Last time I checked, this meant something else. <laughs> that's the new, that's the new Dude greet. No, it's the the crab rave. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, the crab rave. <laughs> We're gonna have that. In Mori Towers is gone. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yes. Imagine, imagine. <laughs> um, I was gonna imagine. say, make sure to check everybody's Twitter and Twitch. Martha also streams, so make sure to check her out. Drop her a follow. Um, we will do this uh, again in the future with different guests. Um, if you guys are down, and uh, yeah, that's it from me. You have anything to say? Nope. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad that we, you ran Left this you kind all of satisfied. Thing. That's Thank great. Thank you for agreeing yeah. on, on being here. Uh, it's yeah. been uh, an idea that Yoshi and I have been have had for uh, a long time now. I think how long? Like six months now? Yeah, we or talked more? about it and then we just recently th um, just wanted to do it and here we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This was cool. I really, yeah. I really enjoyed. It. Thank you for having me. Also, thanks to the <laughs> chat for being so active and supporting this. And yeah, yeah. I would say, I um, we can rate Kiver his life. He's playing a tournament probably. So. Good luck, Kiver. Yes. Okay. What's in let's the say, zone? let's say, come on, Kiver in this chat. In the zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See y'all. Goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, now for real. <laughs>